Hello, hello again and welcome to another tutorial in uh, repairing cameras and lenses. And this time I will show you how you actually can open the uh, Olympus XA um, before you continue to work with the inside of the camera. So I will show you how you take off the front here, the, the top and the bottom cover and uh, actually I mean come into the shutter button um, taking off the small orange lid here but um, let's see how we can come into it okay there this camera is actually working pretty good if I advance the film there is no film in here. Press the shutter button and the shutter is firing. I mean, fire. So it actually works pretty good. So, but um, how to actually get into it? Well, we need to take off the bottom plate uh, where there are six, I mean, five screws. One two three four five and um, there is a small hook in here plastic hook that was broken off in this camera but there is one and I cannot really see the need of it because the screw here is very close to it and there's another one here the plastic quality is, seems to be very good. Now to get into the uh, camera here there are as I said <laughs> three screws here one there there they are the long screw and this one and this one is shorter just so you remember. So <clears throat> oh for that that size and the next one is the same here and then we can actually just close the the uh, lever here for the self timer battery check and so on now the third screw is the same length but the next two i mean the last two screws is shorter but of course I should have taken out the, the battery here before continue there are two LR44 or SR44 <clears throat> so continue with the two small screws which is that size compared to the other And the last one and before I actually can take off the uh, the bottom uh, plate here I need to open the camera it will say open the the door here the front door uh, and then I can take it out so and since there isn't any small hook that should sit here around and uh, this in this camera it's broken off maybe many years ago I don't know but it should it should uh, hook into this area here so there is a kind of a notch or something and this is the the click how they made the click oh. for this uh, lever so it is and now to actually get the the front door here off one have to to actually lift I mean draw it out this way just a little but remember, 
there's a small roller under this area here so don't lost get the uh, it will not disappear <laughs> because then it has not the click function <clears throat> so by lifting it up a bit here there's also a pin in here that opens the blind their the cover for their rangefinder window so if i uh, i have a have it hold it like this my thumb here my index finger up here and then i can just open it a little and then there was one lever in here piece of metal <coughs> that uh, show up here and that's uh, it, it will close the uh, rangefinder window here but it's not a big problem to get it back in again so by lifting it up here and just not break but just uh, open it a little up uh, so there is a kind of a gap and then you just push the door even more up here and then it's free now <clears throat> inside here on the top uh, there are two kind of a notch here where the roller this tiny roller here um, it actually move when it, it, it makes a click when move the, the front door because there is a tiny leaf spring down here and <clears throat> this screw is only holding the tiny spring under here so to take off the if you want to take off the the top cover itself you do not need to unscrew this it's only hold the spring in here and the only function this spring has is where the uh, roller actually sits in here so it has the spring function function on this roller so aside with that <clears throat> so now we get uh, I need to take off the front here there's one screw here and uh, it looks like there's nothing else but there is one hidden in the film chamber so I open the the back door here and inside here there is a screw and when unscrewing this and the other up under on the front here I can take off the front cover so out with that tiny screw so almost the same length as the two small screws here and now uh, it's possible when unscrew this screw on the front to actually it's also a small screw here so even tinier and then I can actually lift up this the front here lift it up and gently take it out see this screw that is hidden in the film chamber here which is this hole here and uh, so it, it is now then we can see how things actually working in here the focusing and the uh, ASA uh, where you can select 
what film speed you want. <clears throat> but it also acts as a uh, kind. It works kind of together with the with the uh, light meter in here, of course. So, <clears throat> and as I mentioned, the pin that that moved the uh, rangefinder window blind is the one here. So, and the spring that actually draw the uh, the blind here back sits under here. It's one spring down here. So, and um, yeah, let's continue with the uh, top cover <clears throat> and of course getting into the, the shutter button and those parts. You see, <clears throat> the rewinder here uh, has one screw in center. And there is also a small leaf spring, I mean, piece of metal that will uh, prevent the uh, handle here from just moving around. So it, it makes some tension on the on the uh, on the one end of the uh, handle here. So. But there is one screw in the middle, and by holding the rewinder here, one can actually unscrew it. Oh, I didn't mention what kind of screwdriver I use. This is a PH0, zero, zero. but I have modified the, the tip here by filing of the very pointy tip so it's actually working as a JIS screwdriver which I have here it's a 2.5 millimeter uh, made by Moody tool and I buy this uh, set of four different size in uh, I mean on um, the website called ifixit.com and it's a fair price, so uh, it's good. But I like this better one. So, by unscrew it and take care of the when you take out the screw because uh, some parts can just fly around. I mean, if you drop things. So, out with a little screw here and then I can just lift this up so it looks like here and you can see it can move and if I turn it over you might see there is a small axle in here the one here <clears throat> that will prevent the handlebar, the handle here, from falling out. So, and under here, the uh, top cover, there are two small screws sitting here, which I can just unscrew without any problem. So, and the one here. So that's it, almost. Because under here, actually around here, there is another screw. And uh, I need to take off the orange um, shutter button uh, top to get the 
into the hidden screw under here. And there is also one here on the back, which I also need to unscrew. And it is all the same as you can see. So all three screws are the same. Just so we have them in correct order. <clears throat> now, to actually lift off the uh, the top here, I can use a uh, dentist tool or a very small flathead screwdriver because I need to dig under here and uh, hopefully without damage anything, I simply get under here and lift it up because it's glued into place so this is how it looks and remember to put this correct in because <clears throat> the two corners are rounded and the other two corners are I mean in a straight shape 90 degree <clears throat> and it has to sit correct so when we look at it it should sit like this but also because there is a engravement here uh, kind of where the uh, plastic shutter button here this round uh, this uh, black part here that is actually the top of the um, of the shutter button uh, assembly so <clears throat> and here we actually see the uh, the hidden screw here and then I can just take it out so it's a tiny uh, screw and it's different from the other so I just arrange them as I uh, as I take off, out the, the parts now then we can actually take off the the top cover here <clears throat> but there's one thing we need to do uh, take care when taking off the top cover because this uh, the cover for that I mean the blind here that cover the rangefinder window uh, don't lost get that lost <clears throat> so by lifting up this part here it should be possible to um, actually take it off and it's almost there and you see the uh, the blind for the rangefinder window sits between the front here and the rangefinder window itself not behind the rangefinder window just to remember that so there it is and there are there are two wires here for the for the little buzzer here that makes the beep sound and of course one can actually just uh, unsolder it uh, I will not do it here but uh, of course one can do it or just cut them off if you don't like the beep sound <laughs> now to get to the uh, blind 
here uh, where the rangefinder window is this one is possible to just lift off so you not miss it somewhere see the way it works here is by moving the the lever over here and this one here is actually working as the their on off uh, button for the camera here so if I open the the front door here I will push on the contact here and actually turn on the camera so this is how it looks so <clears throat> and that was actually first part of this uh, <coughs> working with the Olympus A so I will just continue with the shutter button itself so see you sooner.